Five years ago, I didn't realise we were going to be dressing Lady Gaga. You know, that's just phenomenal to us for local designers. But to be honest with you, we've got massive dreams and we know we're going to do it. But actually to be on the fringe of that dream starting to happen is like pinching our skins. We've just launched the collection on the 12th of September and all to our private clients and it was just received fantastically. So it was a real buzz going around. I would say our biggest inspiration is travel. This collection is based from uh, Lake Como and the Amalfi Coast. When we've launched one collection, a couple of weeks later, we go traveling. And next season, we're going to Russia, St. Petersburg, and probably go to little bars and you know, meet people and try and speak Russian. That'll probably never happen. This is the brand new 2012 Philip Armstrong collection, Tony Tiger Scarf. And it's a very versatile scarf made out of silk crepe machine. And there's many ways you can tie it. Very simply, with one fold, which can be a very elegant look, okay? Or we can go for this style, okay? Which is quite a chic look, quite a Parisian chic look. This is quite a 50s look as well. We were approached by Kellogg's and uh, we're quite honoured in respect of designing the neckerchief for Tony the Tiger. I went on the internet and looked at Kellogg's and the colours and inspiration of what they are at the moment and I took out all the ideas and I just got pen and paper and started thinking of ideas and then I just started drawing. Then I got a colour palette and put that together and then I just done six designs, sent them to Kellogg's, they chose one and it started from there. There's a limited edition of the uh, neckerchiefs that have be, been designed by Philip Armstrong. Uh, there's 500 of them and it's going to be a pop-up shop on eBay where people will be able to go online and buy them. Well, animal prints will always be in, in fashion, always be in stand on trend because it's such a, a current um, print, okay? Um, and it just, we just took the inspiration from the animal prints and as you can see by the colours, that, that's the way we went forward with the design. I'd love to dress Blake Lively, I just think she's got great style and Fancy Newton is one of my utmost dreams women to dress because I think she epitomises elegance and um, a little bit sense, sexual, but not over the top and uh, very understated. Mm -hmm.